So the straight poop of this is this problem asks us uh, to use the square root property to determine all real solutions for each of the following equations. It gives us two equations. We're going to do one for the purposes of this video just to review the quote square root property. Yes, in math we name everything and so there's a property because somebody had to prove that it's an actual true thing that we can do. It's a, that it's, um, somebody did a proof that this works. Meaning, and the proof would be like doing it all with letters so that it can be, that it was proven that it can be effectively done with all numbers. Um, I've never seen the proof of, quote, the square root property, but meanwhile, there's the square root property. All they mean is to do the following, um, add 36 to both sides to get 3v squared equals 36, divide both sides by 3, get v squared equals 36 divided by 3 is 12, and this is, the, this is where the square root property comes into play. Square root, square root. I get v equals plus or minus the square root of 12. And of course, if we simplify that, we get plus or minus the square root of 4 times the square root of 3, which is plus or minus, square root of 4 is 2, and so I get that. That's all they mean by the square root property. Do you have to do it that way? No. You could have done it this way. I don't think it's easier. I think the quote square root property, this first way, is the probably the most direct, easiest way for you to think about it. It is very much more like how you would do your quote normal algebra when solving for a variable in an equation. But um, we could factor this as well. So if I factor out, uh, factor a three, I would, uh, let's not factor the three. Um, we might recognize this, poop, might recognize this as the difference of squares. Now, some might say, well, it's not a difference of squares because three is not a perfect square. Meaning, if I had just v squared minus 36, that would be a perf uh, difference of two squares because each of these terms is a perfect square. Let's review difference of two squares or difference of squares. If I'm given something like this, when I distribute, I get v squared plus 6v minus 6v minus 36. But note the middle terms have the same coefficient, the same variable, but one is negative and one is positive, meaning they have opposite values. So, uh, and, and when we're adding, so they equal zero. So I'm left with v squared and this negative 36. So v squared comes from the square of the first term, uh, the first term in each of the binomials. And the 36 comes from the square of the 6. But since one was negative and one was positive, we get negative 36. And so this is the difference of squares. If we recognize that pattern, then uh, we can uh, quickly factor it to be v minus 6, v plus 6, the product of the quantities that. Now, this 3, not being a perfect square, is not really an issue because what we can do is we can take the square root of all of that and we would get the square root of 3v minus the square root of this times the quantity square root of 3v plus 6. Of course, all that's equal to 0. Now that I've factored it, I can... Uh, why does it constantly switch? Once I Now that I've factored it, I can just say square root of uh, 3v minus 6 is equal to 0 square root of 3, 3v plus 6 is equal to 0, just like we would if we factored a trinomial. And then um, adding 6 and dividing by square root 3, I get v equals uh, 6 over root 3. And over here I get v equals, I'm going to subtract 6 this time, so I'm going to get negative 6 over square root 3, because I'm dividing both sides by square root 3. If we were to rationalize those radicals, meaning get them out of the denominator, I multiply times the number 1 in the form of square root 3 over square root 3. I can do this because that's the number 1. I can multiply anything by number 1. It won't change its value. So I get v equals 6 times the square root of 3 over root 3 times root 3 is just 3. Over here, I'm going to get the same thing except it's negative. But then note the 6 divided by 3 is just 2. And same thing over here except it's negative and we get the same answer that we get over here doing it the other method. So all of it works. Um, even though the problem asked you to do with the square root method, do it in a manner that, is, that you're comfortable with.